It seems that even when your home is in the middle of the ocean, you are not safe from land-dwelling predators. I mean, we know that ocean creatures are preyed on by humans, but there are other animals they need to watch out for, too. From the cheeky cheetah who's at home in the water to the grizzly bear fisherman, here are 15 badass land animals that eat ocean creatures. Number 15. Leopards eat ocean creatures. It is said that cats hate water. Well, this cat proves us wrong by making the list of badass land animals that eat ocean creatures. This leopard is so curious and so focused on capturing its prey, it almost forgets where it is. He sinks his teeth into the fish's flesh and quickly pulls it from the water. When living in areas with little to no resources, it is integral that these animals make the most of an opportunity to get some nutritious food. That is the quest of the leopards living in the sun-baked deserts of northern Botswana. 60 kilos of muscle and agility. The locals talk about the dried up land, which flowed for centuries before virtually disappearing almost overnight. In 1951, this land was rich with life flowing with water and food. Today, the area, which lies in the southwest corner of the Chobe National Park, is pretty much just hardened ground. In 2010, the area was subject to a flash flood. The flood pushed water into the old, dried-up riverbed, and several leopards were seen feasting on the new food source. When you think that most of the tinned food we give our domestic cats has fish as a main ingredient, it makes perfect sense that big cats would like the fish variety, wouldn't you say? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Grizzly Bear Catching Salmon Unlike humans, these creatures don't have the ability or the resources to travel to the river, sit quietly with a fishing rod, and wait patiently for a bite. The North American grizzly bear depends on local waters for survival as they hold hundreds of millions of fresh, tasty salmon. These salmon swim from the Pacific Ocean, making their way into the mountain streams where they were born. <laughs> they swim thousands of miles upstream where they were once spawned. There, they spawn their own, and then they die. At the exact time of the year, bears are more present around rivers. They spend time swiping, biting, and clawing onto these fish, eating as much as they can before they hibernate for winter. The salmon are simple to catch. They swim in large groups, moving against the current, which slows them down. The salmon also jump up waterfalls, becoming an even greater target for the waiting bear. Researchers compare a salmon jumping up a waterfall to a human trying to jump over a house. Obviously, these fish run low on energy, and this makes it easy for the bear to get close enough for an easy snack. Number 13. Polar Bear with Seal Kill Polar bears live in and around the ocean, so it's not much of a surprise that they dine on seafood on a regular occasion. And some of that seafood isn't small, either. We're not talking your garden variety fish. These bears have been known to snack on the odd seal or two. Ringed seals are the most common and widespread seal species found within the Arctic area. They are the smallest of all the Arctic seals, weighing between 40 and 70 kilograms, and they make a great meal for the much larger polar bear. Because of their size, even a small polar bear can prey on these seals. They are easily caught as they struggle to move through the icy water that they inhabit. Whether underwater or above on land, these seals are threatened by more than just the polar bear. The ringed seal cannot maintain their breath under the cold water for long periods of time. It must come up for air. He got. This makes them even more vulnerable to attack. The polar bear may also attack larger seals. Depending on the age and strength of the bear, they may target the much larger bearded seal. 
The bearded seal is a much better source of energy for a polar bear due to its fat-rich energy and the fact it takes so long to consume. Although polar bears do not seem to fight over food, extended mealtimes can attract more than one polar bear to the potential meal. Number 12. Eagle Takes Down Super Venomous Snake Unlike a lot of other predatory animals, eagles have the benefit of being able to spot possible food sources from the sky. When they've located their next target, they can dive down towards them, catching their prey by surprise. The sea eagle is a common bird of prey, especially those coming from the genus Haliatus. This family includes the well-known bald eagle. The sea eagle isn't fussy when it comes to dinner time, and will take on a variety of large sea fish. They live along rivers, lakes, tidewaters, and even ocean areas throughout the world, except for throughout South America. These areas are known to offer them plentiful food sources. They can reach lengths of up to a meter long, with a wingspan of nearly twice that. This big bird also has an exceptionally large and high arched beak and bare lower legs, making it incredibly fast and hard hitting. An opportunistic feeder, the sea eagle has even been found killing and feasting on poisonous sea snakes. These birds focus on fish and prey that live close to the water's surface, but they can also dive into the water, catching ocean creatures by surprise before removing them from the water completely. Number 11. Wolf Eating Salmon After Chasing I feel for the salmon. It seems to be the prey of quite a few vicious animals. As well as the bear, salmon is occasionally on the wolf's menu too. They catch the salmon in their mouth, using their sharp, large canine teeth to sink into the flesh of their wriggling victim. A photo has appeared online of a wolf with a salmon in its mouth. The photo, taken at Fish Creek near Hyder in southeastern Alaska during the salmon spawning season, shows the wolf with a gigantic chum salmon in its mouth. Fish Creek is a part of Tongass National Forest, which is a coastal temperate rainforest. The salmon run through the creek from late July through to mid-September. The wolf, which has obviously been for a quick dip in the water to catch its lunch, has managed to catch one of the larger fish in the area. There's no doubt the catch wouldn't have been a simple one, but he is well rewarded for his patience. Visits from wolves, grizzly bears, and black bears are common in this area, with all looking for something tasty to eat. Most of these predators sneak in under the cover of darkness to try and catch one of the salmon. Occasionally, particularly eager animals can be seen at the creek during the day, but who could blame them? Salmon's pretty tasty. Number 10. Dogs take to fishing like ducks to water. Dogs love going for a swim, wherever and whenever they can. And in this case, you can see how much they enjoy taking a dip. These badass dogs have gone searching for an ocean animal feast. In this clip, two pit bulls are filmed running through a river. They're searching through the water, looking for anything that moves or just a stick to retrieve. Seemingly fascinated by the fish and large salmon as they move through the water, they decide to play a game of one-sided tag. They are seen dragging a large salmon each onto the shoreline. The fish are really huge, one per dog, with the video showing the trouble the dogs went to to bring them to shore. A friend of the owner was there to film the dogs hunting the fish by the river. When the dogs had the fish ashore, he threw them back into the water so that they could die natural deaths. Can you imagine the disappointment of these two dogs? They had only just dragged them ashore when their owner snatched them back and threw them away. What a way to crush a poor pooch's dreams of a tasty dinner. The owner wasn't happy with the dog's find, as he believed it wasn't healthy for the dogs to disrupt the fish's natural habitat. What a guy. Number 9. Cats Catching Fish Cats love fish, and therefore it's not a big surprise that they've been seen trying to catch fish out of the water. Fishing cats are attracted to all types of water and live in amongst the wetlands, commonly occupying marshes, swamps, and mangroves. She's built to dive. She catches the fish unaware, 
and surfaces. These cats have been seen eating snakes, rodents, young deer, wild pigs, ducks, farmers' chickens, dogs, goats, and calves. Hunting in amongst tropical dry forests and even in the Indian Himalayas, in dense vegetation and near rivers and streams, these cats have no natural predators. Opportunistic eaters, they will eat anything that they can sink their claws into. These cats are fast with sharp claws and teeth and will hunt throughout any habitat to find a meal. Wading through water, using their paws to scoop up fish and diving headfirst into deeper areas, these cats can catch crabs, crayfish, frogs, and, of course, fish. They're simply masterful to watch and will use every method in their arsenal when it comes to catching their dinner. A dinner that is very well earned, no doubt. Number 8. Jaguar takes down massive caiman in tense underwater battle. We've already seen some fish hunting cats, but this next badass land animal that eats ocean creatures is truly unique. This big cat can take down a massive caiman, which is an alligator and crocodilian belonging to the subfamily Caymaninae and is commonly compared to its alligator lineage. The jaguar has enough brawn and moxie to take on a full-grown crocodilian. Now that's impressive. This predator uses its sharp teeth to pierce the skin of crocodile-like creatures and is now considered the most common croc killer. A recently released clip from the National Geographic's documentary series, Hostile Planet, showcases the jaguar's caiman ending prowess. Hunger outweighs his concern. The time to strike is now. It shows the jaguar lurking above a stretch of murky water. It appears to be looking for its prey, and with the right angle and bite, it pierces the beast's skull, leaving it immobile. The jaguar doesn't even look concerned about the mission and can be seen patiently traipsing through caiman-infested waters, quickly closing in on its target. Once the unsuspecting caiman is found, the jaguar lunges into the water, disappearing under the surface, and then reappearing with a huge caiman held in its jaws. It is certainly a big payday for the hungry jaguar. He'll probably be able to feed his family for quite some time with this catch. Number 7. Kingfisher – Death from Above The kingfisher is a small to medium-sized bird. Easily recognized by its bright colored feathers, they are distributed in the tropical regions of Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Flying high in the sky keeps this smaller bird safe from land and ocean predators, but it also gives them a great vantage point when looking for something to snack on. From the sky, it swoops down, splashing into the water. Within seconds, it comes out and into the air again, with a silverfish locked in its beak. This small bird moves effortlessly through the air and water, looking for any opportunity to strike. Until the 1950s, little was known about this bird. Uh, it looks like a hummingbird. Now, we know that they are an endangered species and are commonly compared to that of the Tui, Moor Pork, and Native Pigeon. These birds inhabit the regions around the Southern Ocean. They are considered extremely shy, so they hide away from other animals. The kingfisher is very fast and is able to swoop in and swoop back out again without mucking around. Because they aren't a social character, this behavior suits them perfectly, and they're less likely to bump into anyone else or have to fight over their cat. Number 6. Hyena Fishing Hyenas are notoriously vicious predators and will eat just about anything. This clip shows a lone hyena paying a visit to a watering hole at Chudup Etosha. After circle around in the middle for a while with just its head sticking out, the hyena appeared to be cooling off. A quick flash of a fish beneath him and he realized he wasn't alone. The hyena dived under the water head first and began hunting for his lunch. It was a hunt that didn't take long. With his legs and tail in the air, he made his way towards the bottom of the water, coming up shortly after with a fish wriggling in his mouth. It was a crazy sight. Watching the hyena fishing was astonishing to the photographer shooting the whole ordeal, and afterwards, he said that the hyena appeared to move with speed and purpose. These animals have a superb sense of smell. How long is that water? The hyena would have used this sense to locate the fish within the dirty water. 
When the hyena made it back to land, it was quickly accompanied by other scroungers in the area. A black-backed jackal was first to the scene to investigate the piece of meat. However, the hyena had no intention of sharing, eating his catch in its entirety. Good on him. Number 5. Gray Heron and Cormorant Fish Hunting Another bird, the Blue Heron, is a skilled fisher. But unlike other birds, it doesn't use energy diving from the sky. It does still take its prey by surprise, however. Its method of catching fish is much simpler than most. It stands motionless in shallow water, waiting patiently for a fish to come by. Then, as quick as a flash, the bird uses its long neck to reach down and pluck the fish from the water. Moving around carefully, the heron doesn't startle the fish swimming beneath. The bird uses this strategy to sneak up on frogs as well. A small bird, the blue heron is common throughout central New York and is much smaller than other birds that inhabit the area, growing between a foot and a foot and a half. A study has shown that the heron is a very clever bird, using items found throughout waterways as a type of lure to attract a more suitable meal. The study was conducted by Professor Lovell of the University of Louisville in 1958 near Lake Eola, Florida. He threw a piece of bread at a heron standing in the water. The heron took the piece of bread and placed it at its foot. As it began floating away, the bird retrieved it and placed it at its feet yet again, ultimately using the piece of bread as a lure to entice a frog or fish to get close enough to snatch it. Once this happens, the blue heron pounces and it's dinner time. Number 4. Orangutans use simple tools to catch fish. Orangutans are commonly found in trees, right? They can also swim. Actually, they can swim pretty well, as efficiently as they can move through trees. Research of three Indonesian islands showed that these orange, long-limbed apes actually catch and eat fish. It's not all bananas and leaves. The orangutans living in Borneo scavenge the shoreline looking for washed up fish or those close enough to catch. They walk along the water's edge, mindful of predators, looking to scoop up catfish. Catching a catfish makes for a fresh meal for these large animals. Anthropologist Anne Russin of York University in Toronto reported that on April 14th, she saw several animals on their own to jab at catfish with sticks, so that the panicked prey would flop out of ponds and into the red ape's waiting hand. It's incredible to think that these animals can adapt and create their own tools to make fishing and catching food easier and more efficient. Number 3. Fox Dives Head First Into Snow The red fox is the largest of the true foxes and one of the most widely distributed species of fox in the world. Weighing between 2.2 and 14 kilograms, Growing between 35 and 50 centimeters in height and able to run at speeds of up to 50 kilometers an hour, these foxes have the ability to catch almost anything. The red fox lives between two and five years in the wild and eats a variety of things, including leopards, raccoons, hamsters, squirrels, gopher, gerbils, murids, rodents, chickens, rabbits, and possums. <coughs> This fox has even been known to be such a badass that it eats ocean creatures. It dives deep into the snow-covered stream in North America to capture the fish swimming underneath. The fox uses its senses to capture whatever lays beneath the surface of the water. It then uses its claws and sharp teeth to gain a firm grip of its catch before devouring it. Number 2. Traditional Otter Fishing in Bangladesh we all know that these cute little mammals love eating fish, and they even live in and around water which makes their love of fish easily fulfilled. The otter swims alongside fishing boats, waiting for a quick and easy lunch to be thrown overboard. In this clip, two otters were found squeaking beside a fishing boat in a river in southern Bangladesh. <laughs> The fishermen on board lowered their nets into the river. They were searching for a full catch in the middle of the world's largest mangrove forest, the Sundarbans. 
Unfortunately for the fishermen, what happened next would ruin any opportunity to catch any fish. The otters, one by one, dove deep under the water, chasing a school of fish towards the banks of the river. Understanding what the otters were trying to achieve, the fishermen moved to the shore. As the otters chased the fish to shore, the fishermen stood in the water, ready to catch the fish in their nets. The connection between these animals and the fishermen has the fishermen coming back to this spot regularly to catch fish. What a great relationship. I hope the little otters are well rewarded for all their hard work. Number 1. Fish Catching Mink The American mink is a semi-aquatic species of mustelid native to North America, like a stoat, weasel, or ferret. A video has surfaced showing that minks can be trained to do specific tasks, including catching fish and bringing them back to shore for their trainer. Josh Carter is known as the Mink Man. He has a fascination with minks and has actually trained them to obey his commands. Or it might be just embarrassingly easy. We'll just have to see what happens. Ready to go, Mamba? Huh? Mamba, his mink, dives into the water, chases and catches fish, and then brings them back to him. It certainly appears more effective than using a fishing rod. The mink is able to use its great sense of smell, sight, and hearing to search through the water for a fish, just like a dog fetching a ball. The mink itself has a 100% success rate, meaning neither it nor its trainer will ever go hungry. What a handy companion to have. Big or small, short or tall, animals across the globe have their own unique ways of sourcing their food. Some are scavengers and will eat other animals' catches. Others are opportunists, catching their prey simply by chance. But there are a number of animals out there that are brave, standing tall in the face of adversity and catching food, whatever the cost. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.